101 out today. It's an over and under 12 gauge shotgun. This particular gun was made in the 60s and it belonged to my grandfather. And when he passed away, I inherited this gun. This was one of his favorite field guns. And it is a good gun for birds, small game. We're gonna try it in a home defense roll today just to see how it will do. Now, it packs a punch, but it lacks in capacity and reloading. This particular gun is unloaded right now. Has a standard double action brake. Comes apart really easy there, but if you dry fire or fire, two trigger pulls, one trigger fires both barrels. It's a little slower to break open. It does have auto ejectors, and if that comes into focus, you have a barrel selector. There's an O for the top barrel, and then a U for the bottom barrel over under. And I was not even familiar with that until I got the gun out and started working with it a little bit. So what we'll do is a little bit of shooting, and then I'll show how to break it down. So let's say I was gonna use this as my home defense weapon. I've got two targets set up down there, and we're between 10 to 25 feet, which seems to be a common distance within houses. Got a steel target, cardboard. I'll shoot the steel target, then move a little closer, shoot the cardboard, and let's see how fast I can do, do a reload. One thing, this top barrel with me, it tends to not seat the round always. And that's just me and my unfamiliarity with the gun. So you can see I'm not the fastest with this on the reloading unloading or loading and unloading. It's it's tight after it shoots. Let's try. Alright, dry fire. Not too bad. Probably work with it, get it loosened up, and just get practice on my own. Next we're gonna try a little buckshot, see how it does out of this gun. So now I've got Double alt buck. This is Silver Eagle Home Defense or something I found at Optics Planet. And let's see how this works. Well, it annihilated my steel target, but it's actually comfortable shooting. I don't know if that's the shell or just the gun. But you can see, you can get some power out of these. The trick is gonna be the reload. So here is the paper target, and you can see a buckshot does a number on that. Especially when it's close, that group stays fairly tight. Even the birdshot is not a terribly wide pattern. And then here is our steel, which is, and that was actually just painted, so most of that, except for some of those scars underneath from pistol rounds, you can kind of see the, the impact of the buck and bird shot. And then the target up in the woods. If I look at this one, you can see the bird shot. And I only shot bird shot at that one. But it just this camera a little bit so we get a better view. You can see that it's opened up a little bit on that one, but still effective. So, hope you like it. We're going to go back and start taking this gun. Down. So, here's a tabletop look at the Winchester 101. Like I was saying, it was my grandfather's gun. 
And according to the serial numbers, I think this one was made between 64 and 68. It's been a while since I've run them, but I do remember it was a 60s gun. Shotgun is unloaded. So what we'll do, the takedown is a lever. It pushes in, that lifts out, and then the forearm comes off. Fairly similar to other brake action shotguns. And open the barrel. Comes off, makes cleanup easy. The barrels are listed as Skeet 2 and Skeet 3. These 101s were made in Japan under Winchester supervision. And from everything I've read, they're decent guns. And I know my grandfather loved this one. Like I said earlier, this was the one that went to the field with him. So cleanup should be a snap. If you're an over-under aficionado, you know far more about these guns than I do. This is the only over-under that I own. And really, it's the only over-under I've ever shot. So compared to side-by-side, -side, I don't know what your preference is. I, I do have a side-by-side -side shotgun, which I like. It's an extremely long barrel gun. There's just something fun about a double barrel. So, thank you for watching. If you like what we're doing, consider giving us a thumbs up and a subscribe.